it's that time again for another tutorial on StarMade. So welcome back. This is Mushroom Fleet. And what I want to show you is some of these settings here. So the actual launcher exits into this, the connection setup. This is actually a settings and part of the game, not the launcher. So uh, going from the top, we've got your name. We've already covered how to use the uplink. For single player, you just use Sandbox. If you're doing multiplayer, it's local host for your dedicated server running off the machine you're on, okay? Or the IP address on LAN if you're doing LAN. If you want to use a multiplayer online, you just click on the server list and that's going to pop up around 150 servers which are currently Reddit running StarMade. So as you can see, there's a lot of places you can go, all right? This is Mushroom Fleet. We have been here since uh, July 2013. And I can tell you that a number of these servers have also been around for that long. AI difficulty. I always put it on mean because it offers the greatest challenge. Um, it is a client side difficulty setting. So you notice that mostly on single player. It might affect the uh, abilities of your turrets somehow. But uh, moving on to resolution. I generally use 1600 by 1200 at the moment and then kind of scale it down. Uh, full screen off. Field of view is how big, how wide on the screen you can actually see. Uh, max segments, this is uh, rolled into your draw distance. Shadows, I put to on. This is to do with your graphics card. You might want to turn this off if you don't like it. You will find that the uh, lighting is a lot more even. Uh, the, the picture behind us is actually taken with shadows. Uh, there is bump mapping on all the textures, so I'd recommend turning that on. Uh, the lighting quality, uh, 64 is the middle setting. Again, it'll take longer to load the chunks if you put the lighting steps up. Um, so again, it's, a, it's about performance. If you want to jack the settings up, you've got to have a nice PC. So procedural background, I usually turn on. At 24, I go for 4096. It just makes the procedural backgrounds. They generate in each sector that you fly through. They come in all different colors. They're really pretty. Set it off. Unless you're in a black sector like my one right now. Um, texture pack, I always use default. Pixel and realistic, although they're still there, they're kind of deprecated now because they were both rolled into the default pack, which is currently being supported and updated with the new blocks. I always use 256 for my resolution. If we go down to sound, I never really change anything to do with this, but you can invert your mouse um, uh, and you can, yeah, yeah, exactly. You can have it click the other way around if you want. So what I'm going to do now is just go to the settings and show advanced. Okay, some people will tell you to do this. What this is going to do is show even more settings. So this is where you can say I want Bloom on. You can say you want anti-aliasing. I tend to tend I tend to turn that off because it some, might give you uh, transparent backgrounds when you take screenshots. But they may have fixed that bug now. Uh, your VBO bulk mode options. These are to do with your graphics card. I tend to leave that as at just four, and it works fine for me. Um, I'm using an NVIDIA 560 G, uh, Ti, but you could have anything, and this is the reason there's so much difference in settings. Um, going on, we've got all kinds of different options. Enable shield, hit graphics. If you don't like the shield graphics, you can actually turn them off. I think it's probably a good idea to leave them on so you know when you're getting shot, but you know. Um, all kinds of other options. Probably would never need to do any of these unless you're either told to or are specific to your system. That is almost all the settings there are even more things in the top we're going to do a part two involving the world manager